So, hi everyone, I'm here with Skylar from Ethereum Foundation. My name is Igor, I'm from Mercurius Asset Management. And Skylar, first of all, thank you for the opportunity. Sure. It's, it's very cool, like, uh, change some ideas with some, someone who understands so, so deeply about Ethereum Roadmap. And the first question is like, uh, this week we have like a, a little event. Yeah, a little, little small <laughs> event. Some people are talking about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something that is going to change Ethereum forever. And like, how is, uh, what's your perspective, uh, Ethereum Foundation perspective about the merge? Cool, cool. Yeah, so, so right, the merge is coming this week. The, the switch from proof of work to proof of stake and... Um, yeah, the change in the consensus layer will happen this week, which we're super excited for after many years of postponing it, of, of I guess, like waiting for this to happen. Um, yeah, I would say the community is excited. So I would say this is the one thing I would correct is say that this is not an Ethereum Foundation thing. This is not an Ethereum Foundation effort. This is like an Ethereum community effort, including perfect, perfect. If, if the Ethereum Foundation did not exist, this would still happen. This nice. would still happen. The community would still rally around this. And the Ethereum Foundation is just one organization in the Ethereum ecosystem that is, that is supporting the ecosystem. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, I guess we, I, like I myself as an individual, as a member of the Ethereum community, are su super excited. I'm yeah. super excited about, about the merge, about it to finally happen. Um, and uh, yeah, we're excited. I mean, proof of stake will bring a lot of benefits to the network, a lot of benefits like, like yeah, increased security, more decentralization, more censorship resistance, more economic efficiency. Um, yeah, and better for the environment, of course, if yeah, too. Nice. And like, after the merge, what should we expect? Like, because we have some names about the purge, the splurge, the word, but like, if you if you look for the developers, the yeah. core developers, right. but the ecosystem, the community, what should we expect? Like the 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 next step, like the next, not just the next phase, but the next big thing that you should expect. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Um, so, so right, there is a general roadmap that, that we have lined out, like you said. So the merge, the merge is coming. That'll happen this week. After that becomes the, comes the surge, then the verge, then the purge, then the splurge. Yeah. Um, and each one of these upgrades, or each one of these names basically brings a different upgrade to Ethereum. Formerly, or before, we used to call this Ethereum 2, Two or ETH yeah. 2.0. But now that name is basically deprecated, yeah. so it's not accurate anymore. Because before we thought we would do one big upgrade that included everything in, in that one upgrade, uh, but it turns out that that's not the best way to do it. It takes a lot of time, yeah. and these upgrades are complex. So it's better to break the upgrades down into separate parts and to do them um, part by part. And also in parallel, we can work on them. So, so basically, the ETH2 name is no longer applicable. Uh, we have this new roadmap. And after the merge, what is the focus? I would say the focus is going to be then on scalability. So I guess there's two competing priorities right now after the merge. One is enabling withdrawals. So right now Perfect. you can have you can be a staker, you can put your, your yeah. funds up into the into the beacon chain and you can stake. That's going to happen with Shanghai Fork, Capel Fork. Right. Yeah, it's debating when it will come in. Yep. Um but but yeah, right now withdrawals are not not enabled. So you can still exit from being a validator, you can stop being a validator if you want, but you can't yet withdraw your funds, your ether back to the main chain, back back to like Ethereum and withdraw them out. So yeah, withdrawals is one thing that we're looking at enabling soon. And another one is around scalability. So one thing that the merge will not bring, it will not bring scalability. It will bring a lot of benefits, yeah. but it's not going to make the chain faster or cheaper. Uh, so you might ask, how do we get that scalability? The answer is layer twos. The answer is rollups. So you should be using rollups, optimistic rollups, or ZK rollups, like Arbitrum, Optimism, ZK Sync, et cetera, Starkware, a bunch of them. Um, but, and they are cheaper now. They're much cheaper. They're probably, it costs 15 cents to make a transaction there, whereas on Ethereum, it might cost a few dollars. Yep. Um, but we need them to be even cheaper. And so that's the next step. After the merge is working on scalability and specifically a type of scalability that's called data availability. Yeah. So making data availability on the chain 
And one of those upgrades is in the form of an EIP called EIP 4844. I would say that's sharding. proto dank no, sharding. No, exactly. No, no. That's one of the next, next priorities, I would say. It's still being debated whether that EIP in its form will work or will get implemented. So that's the next focus of, the, of researchers, of developers yep. to really dive into it. But I would say in some form, scalability is the next, uh, next focus. A tricky question, but yeah. do you think we should expect this IP for the next year? Um, I don't know. I think, I think within... By the end Because of next year. When you like when you compare this IP with like the, the old model of sharding, it's like it's a maybe a simple way. Right, exactly. To, to exactly, scale. exactly. That's the benefit of this EIP. Is it's it's a much simpler method of, of sharding. It's a much simpler That's simpler message method of creating data availability. Um, Yeah, on the chain, p creating a data availability layer. And so, so yeah, I, when will it happen? I really have no idea. Yeah. I also don't know if it will happen yet. Yeah. Like, there, this, this EIP is still being discussed and debated, and there's, there's pros and cons and trade-offs, just like everything in the world. Yeah, and so, so, but yeah, I think, I think that will be one of the next, next big focuses. We'll just be, we'd be discussing this, this, this EIP and other things. And you mentioned about very important about the Ethereum ecosystem that's layered two solutions. Yeah. So in this ecosystem, what do you think like it's gonna be like the pattern for the industry, like the the model that's all not all the projects, but like uh, the way they have to build for being like a, a good layer two or like a competitive layer two inside the Ethereum. Yeah. So I mean, one of the nice things about the layer two about the like modular Ethereum thesis is that, um, okay, well, why, first of all, why layer twos? Like why are rollups important? And, and when I say layer twos, I'm specifically talking about rollups, yep. talking about things that inherit the same security of Ethereum mm -hmm. and that give you faster, cheaper transactions. What I'm not talking about are things like side chains. So Polygon proof of stake side chain, that's not layer two, that's not a rollup. Uh, things like Gnosis chain, not layer two, not a rollup. Those, both of those are, are cool and interesting projects, and some cases make sense there, some cases where you don't need high security, Perfect. but they have less security. They have their own validator set, and if those validators wanted to rob your funds, they could do that. Layer two, rollups, the validators, the, 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 node, the nodes on layer two, even if they wanted to steal your funds, they couldn't do it because of the way that optimistic rollups and ZK rollups work. Perfect. So why do I think it's the future? I think it's the future because you can now have uh, faster, cheaper transactions while still inheriting the same security and decentralization benefits that Ethereum provides. And Ethereum being one of the most secure and decentralized projects out there, those bring a lot of benefits to it. And so when you're looking at building a project on something, you might be considering fees, you might be considering security, but now you don't have to trade off between the two. You can now choose a roll-up. You can build it on top of Optimism or yeah, Arbitrum or ZKVM. Like system, so. Exactly. So you get like the ecosystem benefits, you get the security benefits. And I really think, um, yeah, I think that's the future. We're still early for that though. A lot yeah. of these roll-ups launched like a year ago in September of last year. So like, yeah. yeah, really a year ago, only a year ago. And so a lot of these alternative layer ones have a lot of more marketing power, a lot more to business development. Um, but I do think the future will likely be uh, like a modular Ethereum one. And we'll see a multi roll-up future, many different roll-ups, all secured by Ethereum. Ethereum. Yeah. But like the last question yeah. before we finish. Do you think all of these solutions are going to be inside Ethereum or it can be like outlayer ones or other ecosystems like sovereign chains or other modular projects like, I don't know, maybe Celestia for data availability or other projects that can coexist with Ethereum ecosystem? Yeah, I think there will be, I think there will be a multi-chain future, meaning, but I'm, I would be clear, like multi-chain, not cross-chain, for yeah. instance. So like, it's important that these ecosystems exist, but that bridging your ac assets between these different ecosystems that have their own security. So one security, one security, one security. If you bridge your asset from Ethereum to Avalanche, your asset is now at the risk of both chains yeah. and, bo and the weaker security of the two chains. Like Vitalik mentioned. Before. Exactly, exactly. So s shared security is a super important topic. Uh, he has a really good Reddit article on this, if you haven't yeah. read it. And, um, and yeah, but I think, like, I think you will see, we will see... Um, a massive amount of applications and, and, and applications underneath like underneath the Ethereum umbrella, the Perfect. Ethereum ecosystem. Yeah. So we will see. Skylar, thank you very much. Uh, a pleasure. <laughs> pleasure, Igor. A pleasure. Bye bye guys.